Council paid a visit to the presidents of Rwanda and Uganda in an effort to find a way to end the conflict in neighboring DR Congo. However, Kagame and the Museveni say it is not their responsibility to bring peace to the region. Britain's UN Ambassador Mark Lyle Grant told reporters the leader said that they felt President Kabila had made a lot of mistakes and that he didn't have control of his own troops and that was the fundamental issue. The delegation spent three days in the DRC and in the leg in Kibati village Goma, an area once occupied by the M23 rebels and now under the control of the Congolese army. Up to now, the M23 is still recruiting, training and killing the civilian population and also abducting people in the positions they are occupying. Later on, the council mission also visited a Mugunga IDP camp for internally displaced persons and had a chance to hear from villagers expressing their frustrations with the political process, the regional violence and their needs to go back to their normal lives. For us, the visit has no meaning because Ban Ki-moon was here himself as the chief of the UN. He did nothing. The atrocities are still going on in Kibumba and Rutshuru. So what is the Security Council coming to do? DR Congo's volatile east has long been murdered in conflict and is bristling with armed groups. UN experts have accused Rwanda of supporting the M23 rebels, a charge that Kigali has rejected. Maria Galang, CCTV.